vault. Already had my flu shot. Inflatable boat. First aid kit with just medical gauze, huh? Inventory. Golf bag. Insert. Uh, not going to work that way. Hmm. Oh, it was in the other spot. <laughs> One whole medical gauze. Uh-oh. Some mutated arms and legs. Uh, the dodge training is any of these. Baseball, basketball, beach volleyball, or standard volleyball. Those are your choices. Practice your dodging by throwing a ball at a wall and dodging it when it bounces off. No. Gotta find one of those. Sporting goods store probably be pretty easy. And then, uh, I was assuming sporting body sites, but we haven't found any so far. Last few we saw just had clothes. That's not what I want to see. <laughs> Come on now. Not good. It's largely what I'm worried about going through these doors when I hear shuffling or footsteps on the other side is I'm worried about opening the door and having an acid ant just step up and immediately spread a pool of acid under me. No. No thank you. Caustic Soldier. Ah, shouldn't have shouldn't have moved in that way. Really? Is acid is causing bleed? Since when do caustic soldiers cause bleed? Are they firing darts? I thought they were firing like thing little little acid bolts. That's weird. Oh, it is caustic darts. All right. Hail of corrosive darts. All right. As long as it's darts. As long as they justify it. <laughs> Let's stop the bleeding. Damage I didn't really want. Uh, let's say no to that. <laughs> Come here, corpse. I shall now dismember you. Cranial flashlight. How exciting. Seems like the further north we go, the more uh, acid ants I'm seeing. Uh, or it's random. Ooh, three of them. Uh, yeah. I might be better served just to go back to... Uh, go back to the stairs... Um, because we already found the stairs down right here. 
And there won't be, there should only be ants on this, this one level. So this is inviting more danger than I really need when I've got other levels I could be exploring. <laughs> Goddamn skater bot. The peak showed me this room. I stepped downstairs in this room, and there's a skater bot directly adjacent to me. So I just took yet more torso damage. Are you going to follow me? Or are you going to be an a hole and just hang out down there? Yep, he's going to be an a hole. <laughs> that is so annoying. Um. Guess we need to start slapping more bandages on. This is an annoying lab. <clears throat> very, very annoying. Well, that kind of wrecks my let's go down plan. Uh oh. It's the, uh, the apartment area. No books. Particular areas of importance because you got food items, you got kitchen, beds, and so on, but also these windows have curtains. So you can tear down the curtains for the traditional long strings and wood and so on. And sometimes there will be books. Not useful. Oh, look at that! Score! SICP. We got the final computer book. Cool. Pretty random place to find SICP. I'll take it. There we go. Now we can get our computers to eight. Does that give me the computers? Uh, computers advanced. Ah, oh, we need Hack Pro! <laughs> no! Um, a reason to find and pick up Hack Pro again. Well, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> I can't peek and nade the skitter because I peek into a different location than the stairs are at. So, that won't work. <laughs> Nah. Dumps and uh, police station evidence rooms are the best places to get Hack Pro. Otherwise, just check every trash can you come across. This is a uh, this is a library. How do I know it's a library? Because the computer's in this corner, and it's got these two side rooms in the approach. That means this is a library. Hey, look! It's a library. I'm shocked. Sure. Shock me. Shock me! Oh, we actually made it. Practical skill in computers has increased to five! See, we recovered our rust. So yeah, if you weren't aware, these um, entry points to the barracks, the prisoner containment, and the library are all unique. The, uh, the barracks will have the computer up here. The uh, other two... Um, we'll be set up with it in this corner. One of them has this little entry corridor with the two rooms at, on each side, and one of them doesn't. So you can always tell just by looking which thing it is without even going and looking at the computer. Candy, soda, more candy. There's no books in this here library. <laughs> Uh, 
Nothing we need. All right, so that's an end point. Can't go south, so we're done here. Down is problematic. Go east. We're on the outer edge. This could be another end point location here. Yep, and that's going to be the barracks. Hey, barracks, how did I know? Because the computer is right there instead of in this corner. <laughs> um, Try to hack the barracks at five. We now have the final book, but we can't practice it without the hack pro. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it a try. We can always bring the torch down. Failed. Shocked. Shock me again. Unlock entrance unavailable. Really? You're going to make me wait a bit? Yep, going to make me wait. What do we got? Shuffling. So there are zombies. They're probably going to be high level zombies. Bio operators. Acid zombies, shadow zombies, that kind of stuff. All right. Note, Eric's. So I'm stuck with the Shocker Brute, the multiple Caustics, multiple Ants, and Skitterbot right down the stairs. Those are my choices now. My torso is down to three bars from all the damage and shocks. Which is getting a little too close for comfort. Could hang out and just read SICP. We will, any further computers we interact with will give us a bit of skill. Don't know how much you get from general hacks. How far did it take us? Did we just get back to five and then it stopped? Uh, four percent. But we might have got that with the failure. Yeah, that's, we're, we're going to have to practice our way to eight. We have to get the hack, bro. Um, bandage everything again. Yeah, probably better. We got, we got plenty. All right, everything's wrapped up. Uh, pain will go away on its own. Reload. Let's work on circuit theory since we can't really do much with the computers anyway. Actually, let's... L We're at 55% knowledge level, so we're still higher. Yeah, let's let's get a little bit further ahead. So we get good XP for when we do try it. Oh my god. <laughs> I see. It's gonna be like that, is it? If you don't know what I'm talking about, the reality bubble around that lab is horrendously slow time processing, so we're going to drive away until we're sure we're out of that reality bubble range. I'm 
it should go much faster here. Much faster. Alright, so we got theoretical to six. That's going to be enough for now. That'll keep us ahead of our usage of the computers to make sure we get a good XP boost when we do get to use them. Um... food in different spots again. Tired at one o'clock. Yeah, it's still, uh, still haven't fixed that fatigue problem. Back to electronics. Now, time to sleep. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we did it. I have achieved obesity. <laughs> That's the first time I've been obese and I don't know how long. I guess the, uh, the cookie and candy diet's finally getting to me. Huh. Okay, guess it's time to stop eating for a while. Go on a liquid diet. Let's see, no stereo going. Um, our healing is going to be fine. Oh, there's that rust. Our throwing has dropped to one. Yeah, I guess the, the quote-unquote problem is that when, you, when you're doing practice and you're reading books and all that, you, you hit the level and then you stop using it and you go about doing your other things. So I... I did bash training to three, and then I haven't bashed anything since then. So then it, it the first 24-hour period after that, it immediately ticks down 4%, which drops me from three down to two. So it seems worse than it actually is. Just got to know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Don't eat. Just water. <laughs> Lots and lots of water. Okay, we're almost fully healed. Um, let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep exploring this lab, honestly. I, I'm not sure what we were going to get out of it that I care about. I'm thinking of just continuing on past it, because I don't really need anything in there. I mean, sure, I guess getting into a barracks or two would be fine, but I don't need autodocs, I don't need mutation stuff, I don't need laser guns, I don't need any of the mutation finales. 
There's just, I can't think of too many things I would get in the lab finales that this character would care about. So I think I'm probably just going to ignore the lab and push on. Um, four o'clock and we're still tired. All right, so we are encountering the bug. So let's, uh, let's fix that. If you're not aware, there is a currently uh, a bug that uh, is affecting the fatigue that the player gets. So you can be tired, sleep 10 hours with no issues, no problems, and wake up and still be tired. <clears throat> so until they actually fix the bug, I'm manually going in and when all my conditions are good and we've had a good night's sleep, I'm uh, resetting my fatigue. Do you always need laser guns? Well, you should have capitalized. Well, no, because then you would have been talking about me. <laughs> I definitely don't always need laser guns. You guys can have fun with your pew pew. They're cool. I did. I, I used to not have much of an opinion of them till I actually used one. I don't remember how many challenges back, and discovered the joys of no recoil and being able to burst fire. Um, with perfect maintaining of accuracy over and over again. <laughs> That's pretty glorious. So, they definitely have their benefits. It's only four o'clock. I need to, I need to let some time pass. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I swear, I, I lose control more with driving skill. I almost never skid when I'm traveling in most 99% of my, my challenges when I have like zero to one driving skill on accident when I forget to turn it off. This guy started with five or six. I think he's rusted a little bit. And he, uh, he skids constantly. I don't know what the deal is. It's weird. Uh, yeah, let's stop driving for a second. We'll just read for a little bit till the sun finishes coming all the way up. Acknowledge six, that should be plenty. Well, hey there, amoebic molds and body sight. Scientist site again. Three wallets, probably three science ID cards. We're going to drive right on by. I have no use for science ID cards. So, good news, sort of, depending. We do have a bridge going across the river if we can transit it. Problem from this side. Clean bridge. What did we find? Hunting blind and some farms and a warehouse. How's the gas looking? 60 liters. Got a good supply of wing mirrors. I think I'm down to just needing the mid-level medic book. We got SICP. Got a good amount of electronics books. I think that's the only book that we're missing. I'm gonna transit down to that other road. I wanna get away from this water. Take on the south road for now. We need to get as far away from our previously mapped area as possible, so I'm trying to go in one direction. Me go and scouts up in the woods.
care about. It's the road network's cooperating. But yeah, we need to get as far away as we possibly can. Because we need to cross over into another, a new overworld map section. So that I can find the third refugee center. Um... I think we still have this damn north-south <laughs> blockage. Let's go this way. Regenerating your ammo is good long-term. That's where my situation is different than a lot of people that are playing because I don't really have a long-term. I set up short-term goals and accomplish them and then move on. So I don't generally have to worry about what am I going to eat in the second winter? <laughs> what am I going to... What kind of ammo am I going to have after three years go by? I, I don't have those kinds of concerns. Because I would be... I would have died of boredom long before those periods of time have passed. No map? A kukri? A kukri? The first time I've seen a kukri up here. 7 and 26 plus 0, 84 moves. Hell yeah, we'll take a kukri. Rapid strike, medium block. Give kukri some good stuff. Whoops, not what I was trying to do. Reload. Trying to unload. Flashlight. So yeah, as I was chatting about, my uh, my time frames are different than a lot of folks because I'm not playing just to survive or to explore. I've I've already seen everything, so. And just surviving isn't a challenge once you hit a certain experience level. So I don't really have to deal with those long-term concerns. Ditch the cudgel. I'll keep the kukri. we still got 15 pounds of carry weight. I'm not picking up that much stuff anymore, so... That's not helpful. Forgot to actually look around. <laughs> so, we've got a mansion. We still haven't gotten a single good, quote unquote, piece of armor. We have to circle around to get to the mansion. I don't see any compelling reason to hit that town or that town. Public washroom, that is not a gas station. School isn't drawing me anymore. Yeah, I don't see any particular reason to go up there. This dead ends into the, a big city. Another mansion. That's a bit of a convoluted road neck. Actually, I can't get to that. This road network doesn't connect to this road network. I could possibly get through. I, I could force my way through onto this section. My my route south is getting kinda kinda blocked. But we do have another road that got me across that river. It's been blocking me forever. We have another radio tower I might be able to use over there. And a mine right on the river. Really? Alright, so order of events I think is gonna be back off, check the mansion, come back across. Hit the radio tower, take a look at the far side of that river, and then make a decision where to go from there. See you, Underwriter. Yeah, I'd be a lot happier if I could get a decent pair of chainmail. 
Fitted chain mail, plate mail, just something to give me some more options. Eight Zomborgs? Eight? What are we up to now? Three healthcare. Our dissection ability is still gonna be terrible. Nah, I gotta I gotta resist the urge. <laughs> resist. Investigate Zomborg CBM stuff in another challenge. Not not this challenge. Rubber boots. Clipped it. <laughs> All right, headlights on so we can see further into the mansion. I see nothing. Nothing on the armor dummies. Oh, never mind. A great helm and a morning star. Hmm. It's worth going in after a great helm and a morning star. See what comes out to greet me. Got a pack of slavering coyotes coming up behind me. Hey coyotes, couldn't you go slaver some sla slaver somewhere else? play with the coyotes zombies I'll just hang out in the area so the reality bubble is still covered but uh, go chase coyotes I don't think they did most of them aren't moving is a melee build viable at all in this game or will you just spend all your time healing yourself no it's perfectly viable I do it all the time my last challenge the uh, the lumberjack challenge was all melee all the time. Well, I think I used the gun a little bit, but it was almost completely melee from the first instant. No problems at all. It does help to have a better understanding of the system, how it works, how to take advantage of it, when not to do it. <laughs> there are circumstances you would want to avoid melee, but uh, it comes down to, oh, predator showed up. I gotta be careful of a predator. Predator over there. They're mostly playing with the... Ah, oh, if the Slavering Biter hadn't come out, I would have hopped out, because they're all chasing the coyotes now, so I've got an opportunity to work my way in. But this guy is coming right at me. I need him to go... Nope. Not going to go after them. All right. Let's uh, pull him away. And now he turned around. He's being protected by a boulder. That's ah, a smoke smoke zombie or an ashen brawler in there somewhere close. And I just made too much noise. Hey there, boomer glutton. So we got the library again. Augmentative tech, gun owner's handbook. Popular mechanics. Um, I think I'm going to make a run for it. We're going to give it a try. A throwing axe. Fucking doll. Is it real? 
It is aluminum. A cheaply made replica. Thank you, but no thank you. And I think they made some kind of change to the Great Helm. 10, 30, and 20. We'll grab it. Nah, we're not going to go explore. Nothing over here. Creature. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look, it's a ball. It's a ball. We found a ball. It's just, unfortunately, the wrong kind. All right. I should have checked upstairs, too, probably, while I was there. We'll lead these guys out. I might circle back and check upstairs, because last time we did find stuff upstairs and downstairs, so I might risk it. Why is the helm real but the weapon fake? Because they don't have any fake armor. Never seen any fake armor. They got fake weapons, replica weapons, but no fake armor. Come on, Screecher. Get out of the damn house. for books as well. Hey, arms and armor of Imperial China and augmentative tech. So, a couple books. zombie in the area uh we got nothing oh so, two more dummies but nothing on them all right we're out of here no need to risk myself anymore hey boomer what you doing there that's not a good space for you trade ya oh he didn't go in through the window So, unfortunately, nothing too exciting. Great Helm. Another soldier body site. Like the 30th we've seen. A single M4. <laughs> Probably not worth it. I've lost track of how many grenades I have. I think I have a fair amount, though. Whoops. Oh, we'll leave them alone. Come on, sporting good sight. <laughs> I want my my baseball or something that I can train dodge with. Regional dump would be good also. Very high likelihood of getting a uh, hack pro at the regional dump. It's one of the best places to look for it. All right, so we're going to go up over this farm and down here towards this radio tower. Ah, 
it's gonna have wasps. Please don't have wasps. Yep, yeah, it's full of wasps. Okay, so we're not <laughs> and a grenade. <laughs> I was just talking about those. Apparently, we got a soldier body site over there as well. Gas sacks. Endochitin. Yeah, I am not going to try to scoop that grenade. I was hoping to get a look at the other side of the river. But it looks like we're not going to. that radio tower tucked in there. Maybe I will get what I wanted. I don't see any any wasps. Well that's pretty hilarious. I can actually make it onto that bridge, barely. Your body strains under the weight weight of the helmet? Oh, I guess that thing is pretty heavy. Oh, and all the books. <laughs> that would do it. Alright, let's get these things added to our library. Got the 30 odd six and the map, the good map too. I'll take it. The wind is very strong. Yeah, how, how cool is it up here? Negative 48. That is a strong wind way up high. I wonder if they've changed it so that, uh, yeah, look at that. That's quite the temperature difference. That's some hefty wind chill. the map ditch the map what did we just learn so in the direction we're looking ahead we got an opening a couple of small towns an LMOE and another river to the south that cuts all the way across to at least the extent of my map it's gonna block my southern travel ouch that's a terrible mapping up there Either Dragon Man B. Yeah, been a little while. Uh oh, military outpost. Military base. Not what I need. <laughs> Is there a bridge here? It looks weird. It's kind of scaring me. <laughs> I miss bridges having vehicles. Ah, another roadblock. Um, with zombies this time. No zombies. Oh, see, this is the kind of site I need right here, but there's no baseball. We got all the other stuff, but no actual baseball. Got baseball caps, ankle socks, golfing gloves. All right, we can get around that. Let's 
So, guess it is around the town. Any reason to stop? Don't see any particular reasons to stop. Might be about time to start hitting. Well, I'm worried about how far we've traveled and if we're on another overworld map section yet. I'm not sure I've gone far enough yet, because what I don't want to do, we have a refugee center there. I don't want to activate another quest at a computer and have it point to that same refugee center. I guess I could abandon it. fungus around here somewhere? Oh, right there. We're going to be going right by there. Pretty good distraction. Yeah, let's hop into a house. We haven't been in a house in a while. I need some more duct tape. Hard leg guards? Nah, we're not into much leg blocking. Oh, rotten bacon. The horror. lot of nothing I care about. Four hundred nails, huh? <laughs> Woodworking shop. Hey there, Necro. Um, not seeing anything I care about here either. Am I just getting unlucky or do they, like, remove duct tape? <laughs> Seems like I'm hardly finding any duct tape. Pretty easy to loot in a town with a bunch of uh, fungus nearby. Technicians there, they might have yoinked my gun when I drove by. I 
So there's an evac shelter. Yeah, let's go check it out. Just need it to tell me where one more refugee center is. <laughs> See, I broke all my mirrors again. Install mirror. Install. Excuse me? Oh. Repair mirror. <laughs> the doors are busted. Hey computer, please tell me, t please, please show me a route to a different refugee center. No active missions. Guess they're not going to give me another one. I thought it would, but it is not doing so. I'm not sure if that's because there isn't one nearby to point to, or if it's just not going to let me because we've already done one. Any first aid kits? One. I want that, that. Hey there, military base that I can't get to from here. Love it. They built a bridge just to park the refugee center, or the uh, evac shelter over here. <laughs> Great fiscal planning there. So yeah, I got no chance of getting the vehicle down there from this route. I'd have to go up here, then across the river, and then try to find a connection back over this way. Not that I'm going to go to the military base anyway. Alright, let's work our way up north. Um... I think there's going to be a big north. I think this is all going to connect. I don't think there's going to be a route through there. I want to keep going south. East is my second best choice. Helicopter went down. Uh, the pilots don't usually have the fun stuff. I don't think I'm going to bother. Yeah, it's the medevac. I don't need the medevac stuff. Again, no no buildings that are sufficient reason for me to stop here. More wing mirrors and no zombies. Yes, power slide. Look at that. Look at that. We did a bootleg. <laughs> I almost, almost pulled off a full bootleg. So close. One more tick of a turn and we would have had a full, full turnaround. Give wing mirrors. Whoops, don't want that. Is the other one broke? The other one must have been broke. No items in the baskets. No zombies. Necromancer, everybody's down the block chasing poof balls. Literally. <laughs> I 
Odin. Yeah, they don't want to give me that middle dinosaur suit. They don't want to give me the uh, the middle first aid book. I think is the only one we're missing now. Still none. I think I left behind some of the items. I wasn't picking them up. <laughs> yeah, where did the duct tape go? I'm not getting any duct tape in houses anymore. I wonder if they changed it. That's a uh, shocker, shocker. Uh, yep, shock zombie. Hey guys. A hulking horror, a gargoyle, and a shock zombie all going after a fungal sporling. Whoops. Hey there, gargoyle. You're quick. Forgot about how quick you are. Uh, you're gonna make me shoot you in the face, aren't you? At terrible odds. Hate these guys. Well, that makes it a little easier. <laughs> we had like a 60% chance for a decent shot. I wasn't expecting to get that much aiming done. I think yeah my I'm, I, I need to keep heading south as much as possible so I think I'm gonna probably follow this road network get that bridge and then just keep going this direction we just need to make as much distance as we can between us and that last refugee center but we'll have to save that for Monday's episode so, we've unfortunately hit the uh, the end of the road for the evening. That's my time limit. I will uh, be back on Monday to continue this particular Cataclysm playthrough. Mondays and Fridays, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock Central Time U.S. is the uh, the normal time for Cataclysm. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Had some great support for the channel this evening. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. I will... Uh, let's check to see if there's somebody I can go, go a-raiding. Who's on that I can go a-raiding? Um, nobody on my list currently. All right. So have a great evening, everybody. Thanks again. Stay safe out there.